Mm. Mm, those were raised by the lake. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, he makes that face for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Look at that happy man. Oh, we got you guys. Sorry. So we are just having breakfast. And so Fiona wanted some eggs and Quinn wanted some watermelon. So we have eggs and watermelon for breakfast, right? Fiona's having egg whites. She doesn't really like the yolk. I don't know why. That's my favorite part. And this guy's just having some watermelon. You lost a piece. There you go. Yes. Delicious. Show everybody how you eat your watermelon. Yes. Rub it and you squeeze it. And then you try and fit the whole thing in your mouth. Don't bite your finger. Oh, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> you want more watermelon? Okay, I'm gonna cut one piece for Quinn so he can have another piece and you can have the rest of it, okay? Well, Quinn wants a piece. I don't want a piece. You don't want a piece, you want the whole thing. I know. But we share. We share. There's only one piece left, so we're going to share it with Quinn, okay? Say, okay. Say, okay, mommy. That's much better. We're working on the lining. We're working on it. Surprise! Look what came in the mail today. It's a Dyson, which is awesome because it's very hard for me to get the big vacuum out drag it upstairs the baby's around but this just hangs on the wall you can take it and vacuum up a small space vacuum the whole space this is awesome and the best thing is i didn't even know it was coming jeff ordered it it's a surprise um so i'm gonna put it together and charge it up and when the babies wake up i'm gonna vacuum some floors why is that so exciting for me why am i excited about vacuuming floors i don't know i don't know all I know is it's Dyson, and Dyson's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a try. Hey guys. So I haven't done much vlogging today. I've been trying to get some things done around the house, uh, like get my winter wardrobe out and do some laundry and um, and. <laughs> really haven't been able to be very productive just because uh, Quinn's having a little bit of a hard time with his teeth I think his fourth tooth is finally breaking through the gums and so I had put him down for a nap this afternoon and I thought oh this is perfect I'm gonna get some clothes put away while he's sleeping well I put him down I came out to get Fiona involved in something so that she would be occupied and while I was doing that I got a phone call from the emergency, whatever it is, the emergency service center um, about the hurricane that's heading our way five days from now. And they wanted to know if I would volunteer. Well, the problem with that is that I usually put Quinn down to sleep and I put the phone down next to him and uh, I have Pandora playing some lullabies for him and that helps him stay asleep for a good long time so he gets a good nap in. Well, the phone call woke him up. So 
a little bit annoyed. He only got a 10 minute nap. So then my hands were full again and I wasn't able to get pretty much anything done around the house. But I got to spend some more time with my babies. So that was fine, but he really needed his nap. It took me 45 minutes to get him to sleep because he was that uncomfortable from his teething. So I was a little bit annoyed. Um, but anyway, so now it's uh, 6.30 and I still have a ton of things left to do. Um, but I'm actually going to make, um, I'm gonna make a butternut squash soup. So I've got some pre-cut butternut squash because um, I have a bad track record with kitchen knives. Uh, I have a, a not so fun habit of dropping them on my feet. So when I can avoid actually having to cut up anything difficult to cut, I do. So I've got some pre-cubed butternut squash. I've got a couple of carrots. I've got some apples um, and an onion. And then there's a whole bunch of spices that go into this soup. But the first thing that I do is I've got the oven preheating and I roast the butternut squash first. You brush it with a little bit of oil. Actually, I usually just toss a couple of tablespoons in a bowl with the butternut squash. And so this way they're fully coated and then I put them on a baking sheet, put them in the oven and let them bake for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I put them into the broth and let it boil away. And, um, and then once it's all uh, soft and boiling, then I throw it in the blender and it comes out so creamy and there's not an ounce of cream in it. There's not an ounce of butter or anything really fattening. The only oil in the whole meal is the oil to make sure that the uh, butternut squash doesn't actually stick to the pan. So it's super healthy, super light, but creamy and delicious and very comforting um, soup for a nice fall day. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna use some vegetable uh, broth instead of you could use chicken broth if you don't if you don't have an issue but uh I like to, for this recipe I usually always use vegetable broth and so I don't want to mess with the flavor at all um so I'm just going to stick with the vegetable broth even though I don't have any vegetarians dining with us tonight and um <clears throat> this is a recipe that I'm probably going to uh give to Quinn too because he can have everything in it. Um, the only thing that he hasn't had before, I mean, he hasn't tried butternut squash yet um, or onions, but everything else he's had before. So it's a good meal for him. And it's a good way to introduce him, start introducing him to some spices to see what he likes. This particular recipe calls for um, cinnamon, cloves, um, I'm sorry, ground clove, coriander, and here it is. Oh, that's whole clove. Oh, I hope I have ground clove. Oh no. I think cumin also. Am I mistaken? Uh, not cumin. Nutmeg. Totally different. Cumin would have messed up the, um, the recipe pretty badly. All right, so I'm gonna get everything cooking and get my, um, my spices together and then I'll show you guys the finished product. But here's the finished product. It's only a lot of work because it's hard to cook when you've got two little kids running around. But they're gonna love it. Well, this guy's gonna love it. This girl won't even try it. She wanted mac and cheese. She's eaten it before. She loved it. This guy's gonna love it. I'm gonna turn you into a little squirrel. Do you wanna be a squirrel? Oh, yeah. Hashtag we love fall. Okay, you ready? 
Let's see how this goes. You gonna like this? Mmm. 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 Those were by the light. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, he makes that face for everything. Yep, see, he went back for more. Mm. Oh. Mm. How's the temp? Perfect. Oh. <laughs> He's reaching in the bowl. Oh. You like that? Ooh. Lots of flavors in there, right? So this has cinnamon and coriander and nutmeg and clove, vegetable stock, butternut squash, onion, apples, and carrots. The tip, that's all the Lovely ingredients, tea. and a little bit of uh, olive oil. Yeah. Taste all these flavors. Mmm. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, mama. Mm, so yummy. You love it? You want more? Yeah. Blend it up. Mm. Mm. Good job, buddy. All right, guys, we're calling it. We got some editing to do, some cleaning up to do. Daddy and I want to watch some shows tonight, so we are ending it early. What's a show? I don't even know what a show is. Are you show? Happy boy. For show. For show. Hmm. All right, who's going to help me end it? Who's gonna help me end it? Quinn's doing it. Quinn's doing it tonight. Okay, Quinn, you gonna help me? Say, give this vlog a thumbs up. You say thumbs up? Can you say thumbs up? Can you say? Hell yeah! Pause this for me. Yeah! Where's the pause button? Oh, oh, all right, we'll just end it. We'll just end it already. Everybody's distracted. Hell yeah! We didn't get there yet. Hang on. Um. Give this vlog a thumbs up and subscribe and comment below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say it. Bye. <laughs> what about hells yeah? Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. <laughs> <Hells> yeah. <laughs> so see you guys tomorrow.